Today, IoT deployments are being held back by major security and provisioning automation barriers that must be solved in order to scale the industry to a trillion devices by 2035. The provisioning of devices with IoT platform access credentials is highly inefficient. Field-based configuration can take 20 minutes per device and involves insecure human-based password management. Or the device can be staged in the manufacturing supply chain with IoT platform-specific credentials at a high cost to the customer and device manufacturer. The problem becomes even more complex due to the proliferation of siloed cloud IoT platform access methods. These constraints limit customer choice and the number of devices that can be onboarded into service. Intel and ARM have a joint vision to develop a more flexible provisioning model that enables customers to dynamically assign cloud access credentials at any point in their supply chain. This video of a prototype demo will demonstrate that Intel and ARM devices can be automatically provisioned to IoT control platforms in seconds without human-based intervention. Inside the device's trusted execution environments are software clients that communicate with the Intel Secure Device Onboard or Intel SDO service that has a role to discover and match the device to its owner's IoT platform that may reside in any cloud. ARM Pelion is a device and data management platform with connectivity services to connect any device, any data, any network to any cloud. On the table, we have a robotic arm that is connected to one of our IoT devices. We have two IoT devices that we will demonstrate onboarding to ARM Pelion. One is an Intel device and one is an ARM-based device. Keep in mind, neither of these have pre-installed a device management service agent. They only have the Intel SDO client. We will use Intel SDO to pull down the credentials and the application needed to communicate with ARM Pelion. We will use a USB key that contains an ownership credential, which you can think of as a digital ticket of ownership or voucher receipt for the device. As it changes ownership in the supply chain, each entity countersigns the nested credential. The base of this credential is started by the device manufacturer, as it is originally imaged on the factory line. One of the key benefits to device manufacturers is they can standardize image and SKUs that get enabled for the SDO, which in turn, enables access dynamically to any cloud. This is a view of the Intel SDO console, where we have configured integration with the ARM Pelion IoT platform's owner account. Here, you can configure different provisioning payloads and credentials that can be sent to the device when it is powered on and onboarded. This is the ARM Pelion IoT platform console. It supports various management functions of the device enrollment, identity management, secure update, and access management policy. Today, ARM Pelion supports zero-touch onboarding methods that can be applied to match customer use cases. Now let's start the onboarding event by plugging in both USB keys into ARM Pelion to upload the ownership credentials. After the onboarding event happens, we will send a payload to the ARM device and robot arm. This signifies it has been provisioned with operational network access credentials, the ARM Pelion management agent, and command and control instructions. Now let's hit power on to both devices. As you can see, the blue light shows the onboarding protocols are being sent across the network. To recap, this happens immediately upon boot of the hardware, which initiates a secure connection between device and management service, over which additional credentials can be passed to the device. In the Intel STO UI, we see both devices appear now. Now we see the robot arm move with commands to push blocks together. And you can see in the ARM Pelion console, two devices under management. Note the onboarding time on the digital clock for reference. Hi, I'm Richard Kerslake from Intel's IoT Group. And I'm John Hingeveld, from, I'm the Director of Strategy for ARM's IPG Group. So Richard, what did you think of that great demo? I think it was been really exciting to see. When we kicked off uh, our SDO a few years back and actually released it in 2017, we were trying to address what we thought were two fundamental issues in the industry. The first was having an automated way to onboard devices, so not having the manual cost and lack of security of, of, of doing it in a purely manual fashion. The, several, the second thing that we wanted to address was the ability to give customers the flexibility 
to choose the cloud of their choice, so give them real flexibility. And it was after that that we got the third request come in to say that customers wanted the ability to onboard both ARM and Intel devices using the same technique. So it's great seeing it, you know, there in, in action. And, and ARM's customers have come back and said very much the same thing. Um, there's a goal in the industry to get to a trillion devices around, uh, around 2035, and there are fundamental economic barriers to get to that point. Uh, among those barriers is to have the ability to late bind uh, the architecture, the devices, the clouds uh, in one system. And, and ARM Pellion's vision is to have any device, any data, and any cloud as a part of a consistent ecosystem. And I think in the demo, we actually saw uh, the ability to make that decision to onboard to a Pellion cloud literally you know, seconds before the onboarding took place. So I hope we, you know, we're, we're moving along towards that vision of any device to any cloud. And the, the key benefit of this is cost, because what you're ultimately doing is removing uh, one of the scaling factors, which is to, to have the lowest possible cost delivery of the service. And you do that by streamlining the supply chain, and you do that by creating late binding. So I think we've accomplished the first step of, a, of many steps of a journey, and I think it's, it's terrific that ARM and Intel are working together to help address industry uh, fundamental issues. Absolutely.